Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, I'm bringing you along in a day in my life. Although it wasn't filmed, after I woke up, I did an elliptical workout before starting on breakfast for the kids. I decided that since they were both sleeping in a little bit, I would go ahead and make some pancakes. Instead of just making enough for the morning, I made a bunch so that we could have them already made and ready for us in the fridge over the next few days. I enjoyed mine with some leftover strawberries from a Tres Leches cake that I had made for my sister's birthday and some whipped cream. Is that yummy? As you can see, Jack is loving his chocolate chip pancakes and although it wasn't filmed, as soon as Aubrey walked in the room, she saw the pancakes and was like so excited and she was like, ooh, can I have one? And she just took one and started munching on it. So when Jack saw my little camera, he like immediately wanted to see himself on the screen. So I thought I would go ahead and just like film him where he could like watch himself. So here's this little montage. And while he was enjoying his pancakes and playing with his car, Aubrey was outside playing with the chickens. This has been one of her favorite activities recently. After breakfast was over, I packed up the extra pancakes and decided we would all go outside so that I could get some yard work done. I find it pretty therapeutic to cut and edge the lawn. On most days, I don't feel like Superwoman, but today I did because I had to mow the lawn while having Jack on my shoulders. He has been really needy lately and clingy, and so it just makes it difficult to get things done while he's awake. Although I picked up a lot of mushrooms from our side yard prior to mowing, cutting the grass revealed many more that needed to be picked up. And when that was done, I collected eggs for the day and soon enough it was nap time. On this day, Aubrey and I mainly focused on homework while Jack slept. I couldn't help but notice one of our furry friends on the hill while she worked. So since nap time wasn't too entertaining on this day, I figured I would share some of the things I accomplished during what was supposed to be nap time on some other days. Here is the pile of clothes that I took out in a previous video wanting to organize. 
Unfortunately, as soon as I got everything ready to go, I discovered that Jack woke up super early from his nap, like 45 minutes when he's usually in his room for like anywhere from like an hour and a half to like three hours. So instead of having a somewhat peaceful nap time where I'm organizing and being productive, I had to accomplish this task with both kids running around. Thankfully, Jack didn't mess up too much of my work, and Aubrey seemed super invested on saving some of her baby clothes. She kept picking up clothes and saying, aw, how cute, and then setting them aside in a special pile. I managed to fill two trash bags of clothes, and although I didn't get rid of as much as I was planning on, I at least created enough space for everything to fit nicely back in Jack's closet. During nap time on some other days of the week, I have been focusing on doing yard work and weeding and cutting things in our front yard. I saw something on TikTok where someone cut their grassy bushes, I don't know what they're called, but they tie a string around the base, kind of pull it up to the middle of the bush, and then tie it tight, and then cut below the string for easy cleanup, but also so that it could be used for decoration. So I placed some of our cuttings in our pumpkin baskets in front of our front door. I really like how it balances out the decorations, and I definitely will be doing this every fall from now on. Anyways, let's get back to today's nap time. So Aubrey was in a really productive mood on this day and actually completed many more pages of homework than I had planned. Therefore, she earned a lot of treat tickets, which is our little form of currency for her in our house, and she decided to go shopping. So I'm going to buy a dunkaroo, which is this. Okay, how many treat tickets does that cost? Five. Okay, hand me five. One, two, three, four. All right, how many treat tickets does that cost? Five, two. No, that costs two treat tickets for one little toy. One and a two. So I. Uh, so give me that first. Go. Yay, I really want to get something in here. So Which one bad. do you want to get out? Because mm. I'll, I'll have to open this. Which one do you want? That. The Christmas, Christmas tree? Cheese. Okay. <laughs> and how many tickets are left? Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and you want to use those for a show? Mm-hmm. All right, so. I want to open this now. You're going to get a 25 minute show, okay? We can't go lose. Yummy, 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 yeah. Yummy. 
Why did you do say that? Now lick the frosting off so you don't waste. <laughs> Is it good? Mm hmm So while Aubrey was watching her show, I did a quick clean of the family room and got started on making some rolls. I will try to link the recipe that I used down below in the description box, although I didn't have any milk powder on hand, so I just substituted the same amount, like with just a little bit more flour. My reason for making these was twofold. I wanted to have them for dinner, but I mostly wanted to practice making them before Thanksgiving. I saw a really cute TikTok where someone turned basic rolls into rolls that look like little turkeys, and I wanted to try to do the same thing. I was tempted, I'm not going to lie, just to throw everything in my bread machine and see if it would make the dough for me, but I decided that I would go a little bit more old school and use my dough hook using my KitchenAid and make the dough that way. So if any of you guys want to give it a try and have a dough hook, you know, hopefully this will be more helpful than me just throwing everything in my bread machine. If you don't have a dough hook, you could still mix everything with like a wooden spoon at first and then switch to your hands and knead the dough and all of that stuff. times it hurts to admit that we're no different i find it hard to commit but you don't even try still i'm better with and without you oh to me I just need this to be real I don't need no fairy tale You don't need a killer dragon for me Then it was time to let the dough rise, and while that was happening, I unloaded the dishwasher and reloaded the dishwasher, and I prepped the main course for our dinner. I picked up these chicken strips from Costco a while ago and ended up going back to the store to get like eight more because Juan loved them so much. I'm cooking them at 330 degrees for 14 minutes before doing one more step. I'm also prepping some puff pastry bites because I know that the kids liked them and I thought Juan would enjoy some too and we could just kind of have them as some hors d'oeuvres.
While dinner was being prepped, I decided to let Jack play with some toys that were sent to us. I would like to thank Mage Toys for sponsoring this portion of today's video and sending us the 6-in-1 set of Montessori toys. The set comes with a fun sensory bin, a pool string teething toy, an infant ring toy, stacking blocks, a magic tissue toy, and some stacking cups. I laid out all of the toys to see which one Jack would gravitate to first. His favorite toy, which was the first one he went to, seemed to be this little sensory bin that has elastic strings that trap in little rattly toys inside. You can easily stick your hand in and grab the toys out or dump them all at once by pulling the strings open. Jack enjoyed putting the toys back into the box and proceeded to make a mess with the remaining toys all while having a blast. Let's take it slow, where you go, I go too. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow, who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me. Let's take it I think it's also worth noting that these toys can also be enjoyed by older kids. When Aubrey came in the room and saw them, she immediately wanted to start playing with them as well. If you are interested in getting the 6-in-1 set of toys, I will place the link to the product down below in the description box for your convenience. Again, I would like to thank Mage Toys for sponsoring this portion of today's video. As you guys saw, no toy will ever be as special to Aubrey as her little puppy. <laughs> Anyways, moving back to dinner, when the chicken was finished cooking for that 14 minutes, I added a little bit of pasta sauce to the top and then topped that with some mozzarella cheese. Easy, I drag you out your mind And there are days I hate you but baby you're still mine And now we have the best times no matter what we do And even when we don't, there's nobody I'd rather choose Let's take it slow, where you go, I go to, and if you hit the bottom, I'm going Then I threw this back in the air fryer for another four minutes at the same temperature, and it comes out looking like this. It is super delicious and goes well with veggies, pasta, garlic bread, you know, kind of like an Italian meal. By this time, my dough has risen and it was ready to work with. I cut it up into eight equal pieces and formed eight somewhat uniform balls. Then I took some food scissors and made four cuts in each roll so that it would resemble a turkey. You 
I think these are so adorable, but the next time that I do them, I will definitely fold the arms over a little bit more, or maybe just try cutting them like more from the top rather than the side, and you will see why in a bit. I let these rolls rise a little longer and then gave them a little milk wash before popping them in the oven at 350 degrees for around 15 minutes. After baking, I can't really say that they look like turkeys, but they definitely tasted delicious. Hopefully my next attempt will be even cuter. But speaking of Thanksgiving, I wanted to let you guys know how you can earn a lot of cash back on your Thanksgiving staples. I have been using the Ibotta app for a while now, and they are offering a great deal in these weeks leading up to Thanksgiving. If you are a new user without doing any additional work, you can get $14.35 back on a turkey that is at least three pounds, as well as some free sides for Thanksgiving. I will go ahead and have my referral link down below in the description box. And by using my referral code, you help me out as well. So again, Ibotta is a rebate app where you select products from stores that you plan on buying or that you just purchased. You scan their barcodes after you get home and you upload your receipt like within a week to earn cash back. You can even purchase gift cards to a variety of stores using the app and you get a percentage back to your account. I actually really like using Ibotta this way when I'm sending someone a gift card because I get a little rebate but they get the full amount I was planning on giving them. When you reach $20 or more you can cash out for gift cards or even have money sent to your PayPal account. And if you haven't reached that $20 goal, if you purchase a gift card you can deduct whatever money you have earned from the amount that you're purchasing. If you already have the app and are a current user, you will have to collect a few rebates before your Thanksgiving bonus is unlocked. But again, for new users, if you sign up with my referral code, you don't have to do anything. All you have to do is sign up and create an account, hopefully remembering to put in my referral code, purchase your turkey and your sides, and submit your receipt to get all of the money back. I really, really, really recommend this app. Again, if you don't have Ibotta and you're interested in setting up an account, please use my referral code on the screen here to help me out as well. But anyways, after dinner, we did a quick run to Stater Brothers to get some ice cream for movie night and then enjoyed a movie with the kids. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I would love it if you subscribed and sticked around. I hope you have an amazing week and I will catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.